Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Krosama. And, man, I know y'all been waiting a long time. I've been waiting a long time to get my hands on these beautiful 30 Minutes Missions kits. Now, I don't have everything I did buy right here in front of you. I just kind of grabbed one of each little kind of specific item. So, I do have the Alto Blue. This is going to be the main kit. And then you're going to have the Option Weapons 1 right here. And lastly, you're gonna have some option armor. So I'm just gonna do an unboxing of all this and then we're gonna roll directly into the review. And this video is sponsored by NewTypeHQ.com. So make sure to go ahead and check out their website if you wanna pick up these kits and use that promo code CROSAMO so that way you can get 10% off. All right, so let's take a look at the front cover art real quick. This is very interesting looking uh, in terms of just the stylistic choice they went with the 30 minute missions or 3mm, however you wanna call it. This looks more like a real grade cover art, but it's super damn cool. Uh, you're gonna have the Alto over here just looking very stylistic. You're also gonna have the squad of three over there, which I think this whole thing is pretty much built around squads of three if, uh, if, if I'm kind of just taking a ballpark. And over here, you just see the construction of it. You know, all the runners are gonna be pretty much categorized in each individual section. So you're gonna have like the waist, and you're gonna have the arms, body, head, so on and so forth. And over here, she's kind of showing you the actual construction of it. And it can be also assembled with color division without painting. So that's pretty dope. So yeah, if you don't want to paint, you don't need to. It's going to have some pretty good color separation anyways. And I've already built one. And I can tell you the posability on these kits are fantastic. So this little picture right here is telling no lies. And just a really neat looking pose with the little sentry or I don't know what you would call it, maybe the little drone. And here you're going to have the squad of three once again with the different weapons. And you can kind of just replace that little drone head with your actual head. But to be honest, that looks kind of goofy. This is number three in the line. And this is also going to be retailing for about a thousand yen roughly. Uh, so you are going to be able to find it, I, I would just say between nine to twelve dollars. And over here, it's just showing you the customizable options you are going to have with the weapons and the armor. So you could definitely make it look super neat by just mixing and matching. And the color coordinates. So if you want to just like, you know, mix and match the colors, uh, you could do so. I, I mean, I'm personally just going to paint my stuff. But, you know, if you're not in the painting mood, then you can still make something really cool by just mixing all those parts. Looking at this first runner, all you're going to have is a lot of blue, but you can see it's all categorized in each individual sections. So you're going to have a lot of what the leg is, you're going to have like the waist, uh, you're going to have like the little drone part right here. Uh, to just go on to the arms, you got the body, you're going to have the head uh, parts up here. But the color is really nice, you're going to have this very nice light blue, you're going to have this orange visor, the dark blue, or I guess just like neutral blue, but it looks more like a dark blue. Uh, but yeah, the panels are it, just, man, you're going to have some nice grooves and panels all inside there. So if you are wanting to do some painting or some uh, just at least panel lining, you're absolutely going to have the, uh, the ability to do so on this kit. And next is going to be Runner B, so Runner B is just going to be all the inner frame stuff. Uh, nothing really too special here, just, you know, you got your hands right there, uh, which are looking very Gundam-like, so uh, if you really want to switch out these hands with some other Gundam hands, or like the open expression hands, you are going to easily be able to do so. And next is going to be Runner C, so this one is just another gray runner, which uh, has like the backpack, you're going to have the weapons right here, and just some little adapter parts for other weapons. And a polycap sheet, small sticker sheet with all numbers on it. And of course your manual, so the manual is actually looking really good. Uh, it's going to show you the lineup which is number one, two, three. I missed out on two, I just didn't really want to pick up uh, three of them for whatever reason. So I'm just going to stick with the, uh, the white and the blue one. And of course you're going to have all the uh, different armor parts that they show over here. And there's only one option weapons uh, set right now, so I might pick up another one. Uh, and then on the back it just kind of shows you the overall like construction via like you know in, in segments and then the actual manual the entire manual is in color so that's goddamn cool over here just customizable points and that's pretty much it so yeah not really too too much but this is still very impressive for the fact that this is a very cheap kit so they went all out with uh making everything color in the manual but uh let's move on to the option armor so the option armor is going to be coming in this Pretty much like uh, some of the bases come in, just this like little sleeve. 
Uh, really nice though, uh, front cover is gonna be fairly reminiscent of the actual box art. And on the back, you're just gonna have uh, just like, customizable options and everything. So that's pretty much it, but let's bust it open. And I forgot to mention this kit cost me 225 yen, but you're probably gonna be finding it maybe around like three to five dollars. And next is gonna be the option weapon one for Alto. It says for Alto, but I'm pretty sure you can use this for any of the newer uh, kits that's gonna be coming out in the, in the you know next few months. But just just looking on the size, this is the first one in the line. It's gonna show you some of the interesting kind of weaponry you can assemble. So you have like a little mini spear thing, uh, a little gun right there looks pretty cool. You're gonna have an axe hand. So yeah, you got some nice customizable options and this is just kind of showing all the um, options you can have. So you have the close weapon and you have the rifle. Uh, pretty sure you can make like bayonets for this as well. I I'm just kind of assuming, but we'll definitely see. And then uh, if you see right here, 375 yen is what I paid for it, but you're probably gonna be finding it between, I would say like four to $6. And here is the Alto White and the Alto Blue completely constructed. Man, they look really good. Honestly, they are just tons of fun to actually like pose and even the build process is really cool. So I don't really have any kind of issues with them. Really not at all. Uh, I think the only problem I might have is uh, just some of the articulation, maybe just in the foot. But other than that, I mean, there's really no problems with these kits. So let's go ahead and just dive right into the articulation. So the head's gonna be on a ball joint. Can go back and forth. Shows on a poly cap right inside here so they can arch forward like so. And it's also gonna be on a ball joint on the inside so they can just move all the way around. Shoulder by itself can move back and forth. Can rotate up. Arm can move out about <laughs> that far. Rotation at the bicep. One point of articulation right there at the elbow which is still really nice. Ball joint for the hand. Ab crunch. Rotation at the waist. Side skirts can move up and down. Hips can also move forward uh, on this like little hinge. Leg can move backwards that far. Can move forward, sideways. Rotation at the hip. Two points of articulation right here at the knee. Foot can move side to side. It is on a ball joint. And this piece of foot armor is also on a little ball joint. So one of the things that you can do with these kits that is kind of the main selling point of them is the high level of customization. Now they do have the exclusive 30 minutes mission option part, so you have the armors, you are going to have the weapons as well, but you can also borrow from Kotobuki if it does fit, or Bandai and utilize all those little hard points around the kit just to, you know, kind of make your own little stuff here and there. Now the level of detail in these kits are going to be really good. All this surface detail, I mean, you have lots of areas that you can just maybe mask off, you know, color this one part and color this a different shade, or, you know, just do some basic panel lining. It's, you're going to have a lot of options available to you, but just kind of like working your way from the head on down to the bottom. Uh, the head is really cool. This is, I mean, this is just the Alto kind of style. So you are going to have three different color variants. And if you want to just customize them to kind of look a certain way, these are kind of more basic, uh, but you, you are going to see in the future that some of them are going to have more aquatic kind of looks, or maybe some might be more desert terrain, but you, you can obviously customize them to meet whatever standards that you want. The Altos are also going to come with a different colored visor, so this one just being a yellow is pretty cool. And the Alto White is going to have a green visor. Another key feature is that all these 30 minutes mission kits are going to have different shades of a color on them. So this one in particular is going to have a lighter blue as well as a darker blue. And the Alto White features purple with white. So that's just kind of like one of the selling points. And I think it's really cool that it is going to have that off shade of different colors. And you can just mix and match these individual parts to make, you know, just different kind of variants. And next you are going to get these drones, one each with a uh, 30 minutes mission kit. So you can kind of do what you want if you want to attach like maybe a little weapon on the top or just plug these into the uh, the actual 30 minutes mission kit themselves. You can also detach this and maybe even use this as a headpiece. You can do that. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with these at all. Uh, they, they look really cool, but I'm not too sure if I'm going to have these kind of like with my units. So for option armor number one, this is actually customized for close combat, uh, but all you're gonna really have is this front chest plate, which looks, I think it looks pretty cool. The color, obviously, that kind of shade of green, it, it's kind of a hit and miss. I think it looks okay, but you're probably gonna wanna repaint that. Uh, but you're also gonna get these shoulder pads, which look super damn cool, and it's also gonna have hard points right there. And then the face mask, I, 
I don't know, man. Like it's it's weird. It has like a V fin right there for the mouth. It has this you know antenna right here on the side. It's definitely an odd looking face mask. It looks like it's something that would be more for aquatic, but it doesn't really show anything about um, you know any kind of amphibious or marine type you know missions for this actual armor. Uh, but you can kind of make it up as you go. So if you really want this to be a more aquatic uh, type of armor, you could definitely do so. And you also get a really nifty shield with that option armor. Uh, also comes with a little connecting point that can rotate around. So you can connect this either to the back, you can connect to the arm, anywhere you really choose. And next you're going to have is the option armor number three. So I think this one looks really cool. This face mask alone I think is pretty awesome. It's gonna, It looks like a drone or something like that but I do love that face mask and that's something I would kind of use more for like a sniper unit. Uh, just because, like, you know, it's only one eye, and that I, I would just say that that's probably something you would really have on a sniper. And next, we're moving over to the shoulders. The shoulders look really good. Uh, this just connects right here on the side, but if you really want to take it off, you can. And then also, you're gonna have this really cool shield. Uh, looks kind of like an airplane almost. Uh, so if you want to kind of like connect this to the backpack or to the shoulders or use it as a shield, you definitely can. But I would say the option uh, set three will probably be. A little bit better if you buy two of them just that way you can have two of these shields uh, I think I, th I just think the shields alone are pretty awesome and they can pretty much be used as weapons because I can imagine this is almost like a bladed uh, edge now you can also utilize the Bandai effect parts to just kind of create your own little scenarios if you want to uh, take pictures and show them kind of getting blown up and all that yeah definitely use those effect parts and plug them right into the shield or any of the other hard points on the kit now we take a look at the weapon option parts. I mean, you're gonna have the different blades. Uh, so you're gonna have like a little dagger, you're gonna have an ax, and you're also gonna have a sword. Uh, you also do have different kind of exchangeable parts to make different long rifles or medium rifles or short rifles. Uh, so we'll just take a look at these kind of like short bladed weapons first. Now for this hilt, this one actually is going to allow you to take off the hand and you can plug the sword or any other little attachment directly into the hand. So that's pretty unique. Um, not really something I'm gonna use, but hey, you have the option if you want a bladed hand, an ax hand, or even a knife hand. Now, if you prefer your kit to actually hold the weapon, uh, you're gonna have this like hilt right here, which this little front kind of like, I guess guard can actually detach. But yeah, you're gonna just have that same little peg hole right there, or I guess square hole, and you can plug in any of those uh, previous weapons right in there. Now you'll also get this kind of like extended rod so maybe something more for like a lance but you can definitely attach any of those previous blades right there in the end. Now although the Alto actually is going to come with this same rifle, you're also going to get another one when you get the option weapon set. So it's pretty cool just to have two and if you want you can definitely dual wield but ultimately you are going to be able to take these pieces off and you can start doing some customization and here is one variant I decided to go ahead and use uh, this is just going to be a very long rifle and a nice scope right here on the top so I just decided hey maybe have one long distance uh, 30 minute 30 minutes mission kit in my collection but yeah it's gonna have one little hard point right there so if you want to just kind of plug in another uh, grip you can definitely do so but yeah let's see what else we can do so we can slap on this kind of more medium style grip. Uh, looks like it's also gonna have a grenade launcher right here at the bottom, so that's pretty dope. Uh, but ultimately, I, I do like it. I think it looks pretty damn cool. Uh, and I just went ahead and attached that grip right there as well. And for comparisons, here he is next to the high grade RX 78 2 and the master grade RX 78 2. And now for my final thoughts. Well, I honestly don't have much uh, bad to say. Uh, I, I guess maybe I wish the scale was a little bit higher. 
but that's really all I can think of. These kits are really something that's fairly unique for Bandai. Maybe not unique in the model world because we do have frame arms. And I just can't help but think that these are kind of like an answer to the Kotobukiya frame arms line. Which isn't a bad thing. I mean, hey, more competitors, you know, just means better merchandise for us. That's kind of like the way I look at it. And uh, hopefully cheaper prices overall because obviously they're trying to compete. So, hey, prices also come into effect. So... With these being around the, you know, 1,000 yen point, and then the option parts being anywhere between like 300 to 600 yen, I mean, you can really make some cool stuff for the same price of one frame arms kit, and you can get all this right here. This was, what, about maybe 3,500 yen? And a lot of frame arms kits are going for at minimum 3,500 yen. So, hey, it's kind of up to you what you want to do. Do you want more kits and some better customizable options? Uh, or do you want to get like one frame arms kit and then having to buy even more frame arms kits or even more Kotobukiya kind of like accessories to add on to those kits? And even so, you can just get some of those Kotobukiya add-ons uh, to beef up these kits if you really want. Um, I can't think of anything else though, guys. This is just a really awesome line. Uh, this is obviously the first wave of the 30 minutes mission kits but you know what we got ported over this month we also are going to have uh some option parts i know we got like the i think the aerial boost is going to be next month and we're going to have some other cool stuff this month so i i'm all on board i'm definitely going to try and make uh teams of two i think teams of three is going to be a little bit too much uh for me to like paint but uh you know doing something like this having like a like a very oriented team that is going to be kind of complemented to, to each other. So maybe like a ground team, aquatic team, you know, desert team, forest, whatever. You can definitely make up your own little storylines. But um, that's that's pretty much all I really have, guys. I would love to know your thoughts in the description. I know many people have already seen uh, other reviewers review them. I know people have kind of like already formulated their opinions. But I do hope that this review kind of gives you a more in-depth look at these. Um, I, I kind of wanted to go more into the in-depth than the kind of just fun aspect. Uh, so maybe in the future, whenever we start doing uh, more reviews of the different releases, we can have a little more fun with them, I would say. Uh, but that's pretty much it guys. So definitely thank you for watching and like always rate comment subscribe Check out uh, newtypehq.com and see if you can pick these up kit uh, pick these kits up for yourself and use that promo code Just to save you some bucks, uh, but that's it for me guys. Definitely. Thank you for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video Bye-bye